Well, hello, all you zannies and fools who don't believe in sensible people rules and don't believe what sensible people say. Welcome back. It's your girl, Miss Minx. I wanted to make this video for us today and talk about how to stay aligned with our manifestations during Mercury retrograde because, child, it's a whole lot, a whole lot of that be happening right now. So, we're going to talk about it. If it's your first time here, hello and welcome. My name is Michelle. I'm also known as Miss Minx. I make these type of wonderful videos to help you live whatever type of life you want to live so go ahead and subscribe i'm top two and i'm not two when it comes to this manifestation business on youtube so go ahead and subscribe and yeah let's get into the video okay y'all <laughs> so when i post this it's gonna be january 17th mercury went retrograde on january 14th right and so what does this mean for us when Mercury goes retrograde, we may find, you know, technological issues, you know, there just may be issues with traveling, right? Because uh, Mercury is the planet of communication. So uh, when we think about technology, there are different systems that have to communicate with each other. So technology can, um, you know, thrive. Uh, traveling requires a lot of different pieces of communication, right? So with Mercury retrograde, we may feel some tension in those areas. But the biggest thing with Mercury retrograde um, is that a lot of old themes come up. I'm a Gemini, so I'm ruled by Mercury. So retrogrades can be a little tough for your world. But the first thing we want to talk about in this video is contrast, okay? What will happen a lot of times during Mercury retrograde is that old thoughts, old beliefs, old versions of ourselves, right, will start to try to rear their ugly heads, okay? Not their ugly heads, because we love them, okay? But old realities, old versions of ourselves usually try to like resurface, right? What this does for us though, is it gives us contrast, okay? It helps us to affirm that, mm, that's old and I've actually shifted into a new reality for myself and I completely identify differently. You know, I'm not subscribing to that, okay? That's a lot. And so that's what I really like about retrogrades is that it really brings up a lot of contrast which helps us to affirm and be very clear about what it is we wanna see in our realities because clarity is required, right? And that's what contrast does. And contrast is just when maybe we have these experiences that we would have preferred not to have, right? So when we are given situations of contrast, even though in the moment we might get frustrated and be like, oh my God, this is so annoying. This is not what I want. That's the purpose is to be like, you know what? I don't want this. I would prefer that. Let me share a quick story time. So this is hilarious, right? So during the last retrograde, which was around like end of September, early October of 2021, right? There's a guy who I've known for years. He's a Virgo, which is also ruled by Mercury. Funny story, the guy actually texted me yesterday, like the second day of retrograde. And I'm like, you know what? You don't know what? But yeah, we went to, I went to go see him. He got us a nice Airbnb and stuff. But he was a real jerk. Like, I mean, it was like he was there physically, but he wasn't there emotionally. And so for me, that retrograde provided contrast as far as like my romantic relationships. And I was in that situation to affirm my growth. See, a lot of times we get put in old situations, not to bring us back into old patterns, but for us to also recognize how much we've grown. Like I used to be really insecure. I used to really like the stuff that he was on. I really would have tolerated that back in the day and tried to make the best out of it. But instead there was a shift in me and I didn't realize it until I was put in that situation of contrast. I was like, whoa, like my self-concept has gone through the roof. I don't feel like I'm missing out on nothing by cutting him off because no, I'm not doing that, all right? And so that's what I mean. Like during this time of retrograde, there's gonna be tension. I, I'm sorry, there may be tension. But the beauty of this tension is that it comes along to first of all, give us clarity on what it is we want because you don't know what you want until you've experienced what you don't want. Okay, so it gives us clarity on what we want and it helps us to affirm what we want. And it also helps us to reflect and see and detach even further from older versions of ourselves, right? 
So during this time, the way that we can stay aligned with our manifestations and not fall back into old energy signatures and like old timelines and old realities, the way that we do that is by going very slow during this time, people. That's the only way to do it. You have got to slow down and relax. Remember, you are more than capable of handling anything that comes your way. You're supported by people like me. There are people who are wishing you well and you don't even realize it, okay? You are supported. You are more than capable of facing any type of foolishness that tries to kill your vibe, okay? During this retrograde, the way that we can stay aligned with our manifestation is by going extremely slow, okay? We have to, first of all, recognize that there are going to be old habits and old behaviors that try to pop back up. And it's time for us to use these opportunities to affirm that, you know what? that mm, that's a lie that's not me anymore i've actually evolved <laughs> and to affirm ourselves even further into our desired realities so go really slow be very gentle with yourself very patient with yourself yesterday i felt so funky i started to get these hopeless thoughts very intrusive thoughts and it felt weird and i was like what is going on like i don't i feel like I already shifted away from this reality. I shifted from that timeline. Why do I feel like I'm back? And then it was like, Mercury retrograde and child. And so what I did yesterday, I went really slow, chilled out. I had a really good conversation with one of my cousins. I enjoyed some time with him. So these are all things that we can do to stay aligned. The biggest thing because a lot of us, I know, you know, when it comes to tending to our mind and minding our minds when it comes to manifestation, a lot of us feel like when we think intrusive thoughts or when we have, you know, negative thoughts that are misaligned with what we want to manifest, a lot of us take that really hard and we're like, oh my gosh, like I'm thinking negative thoughts. And it's like, no, we have to unlearn that. We have to go slow. We have to be gentle with ourselves. And when we're going slow and being gentle, it brings us into awareness of our energy and where we are. I say this all the time. You have got to take inventory of yourself throughout the day and ask yourself where you are and make sure you are where you want to be as far as your energy is concerned. So during this Mercury retrograde, go really slow. Be gentle with yourself. Don't be all like hyping yourself up and getting all like worked up just because maybe you have some not so great days or some not so great feelings or maybe you feel like you elevated from a certain thing mentally and then it comes back up it's not coming back up because it's coming back up it's coming back up to help you affirm your new reality and the new version of yourself you know it's coming up to support you right so during this retrograde have fun go slow okay do things that you enjoy relax just chill okay you don't have to put your whole life on hold during Mercury retrograde. You really don't. In order to stay aligned with what you're wanting to manifest during this time, all it requires of us is to just go slow, chill out, okay? Use the contrast that shows up to affirm the new reality that we've chosen for ourselves, the new version of ourselves that we've chosen. Use the tension to affirm the new you, okay? Use that, okay? But please, you guys, be very gentle with yourselves during this time. You're not backsliding. You're not going backwards. It's none of that, none of that at all. It may feel like that, and when you do feel like that, laugh it off, because that's what I did yesterday. I was like, why do I feel like this? And it was like, girl, Mercury is retrograde, and I'm like, that's it, that's it. And then I just kind of laughed it off. I was like, child, let me chill out. Let me get out of my head. You know, I took inventory of myself and I redirected myself. And I maintained my energy of being in the new reality that I'm in. So yeah, hopefully this helped you all. Please comment down below and let me know any other questions you have about Mercury Retrograde or just any videos you want to see me make. I have a video dropping this week actually on how to make your own subliminals because I know one of you all asked for that. So I promised I would come through. So yes, that's dropping this week for you all. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you all today. 
In order to stay aligned with your manifestations during Mercury retrograde, just please take your time, be gentle with yourself, do things that you enjoy, and just use this as a time to affirm and be clear about your new reality, the new version of yourself, and just all the fabulous new things that are making their way to you. So yes, y'all, I'll see y'all in the next video. I love you all. Thank you so much for all of you new subscribers. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Mwah. I will see y'all in the next video. You are limitless. You are amazing. You are wonderful. Just be you. Peace.